Hi, in this recording, I'm going to show you multiplication of cosets of a normal subgroup is well defined. This proof is also mentioned in John Farline's text, section 14, page 138, theorem 14.4. Suppose H is a normal subgroup of G. That means the left coset containing G and the right coset containing G are equal. That is, GH and HG for all elements G of the group G. Let AH and BH be left cosets of H. That is, AH is consists of all the elements A times H for all H inside subgroup H. And BH is the coset consists of all the element BH where H is element of the subgroup H. Define a binary operation that the left coset AH times left coset BH is equal to the left coset containing AB. Then this binary operation is well defined. What is the meaning of this? If AH equal to CH and BH equal to DH, well, AH times BH equal to CH times DH. In terms of binary operation, it means the left coset contain AB and the left coset contain CD are equal. Well, they? This is not obvious. Here is the explanation why the binary operation is well defined. If AH equal to CH, since we know A is an element of a left coset AH, so A is also an element of the left coset CH. That means that A is equal to C times H1. For some, H1 in the subgroup H. Now, if BH equal to DH, since we know B is an element of BH, so B belongs to DH now. So B is equal to D times H2 for some element H2 in the subgroup H. So we have A equal to CH1, B is equal to DH2, and this is how A, B, C, D are related. Now, if we multiply A and B, then AB will be equal to CH1 times DH2. Note that we know that H is a normal subgroup in G. That means that H1D, which belongs to right coset HD, and which is equal to the left coset DH as H is normal. Therefore, H1D belongs to DH, the left coset of H containing D. That means that H1D is equal to DH3 for some H3 in the subgroup H. So, based on our earlier calculation, AB equals to CH1D H2. By associativity, we can multiply H1D first. By using H1D equal to D times H3, as I showed you earlier, I have convert H1D to D H3. Using the associativity again, I know AB equal to CD times H3 H2. But H is a normal subgroup, so it is close. Therefore, H3, H2 multiplied together is an element H in the subgroup H now. Therefore, AB equal to CD times H for some H inside the subgroup H. That means that AB belongs to the left coset containing CD. 
Now, since the left crochet form a partition of the group G, therefore the left crochet containing AB and the left crochet containing CD are equal. That means that we are guaranteed if AH equal to CH and BH equal to DH, we need not to worry that ABH and CDH are different. That means that this binary operation is well defined as long as H is a normal subgroup of G. Now, 